Wow, it's been a while since I've done one of these videos. Going live is so much easier. Tuesday is going to be rough. Oh! Hello, folks. Welcome back. Oh, volume. Volume check. Check. 212. Oh, that's a lot. No, that's not too bad. Hello, folks. Welcome back. I'm the one. The only. I am Hobo Tom. To thank everyone for watching. Um, yeah, this is kind of like a weird show. I have to review two Raws. Uh, last week I was kind of busy. Wait, what the hell what was I doing last week? Let's see your work? Stuff. I don't know what I was doing that day. That was work. And then Friday was chaos. Saturday is eternal chaos. Oh, yeah. Also, you should check out me and my friend um, as we were trying to watch SmackDown. Um, more so it came out to be a thing about how she never heard of Slap Mountain and wanted to see Slap Mountain and watch backyard wrestlers like get run over by cars. So it's like, oh, it's, it's probably going five miles an hour. I'm like, no, it's not. Like, what? Try to figure, he's like, oh, you're like 20 miles an hour. I don't know if it was 20 miles an hour. I know it was a lot faster than five miles per hour. As a dude hit the windshield, bounced off said windshield, went over the top of the car. And she just couldn't believe that two women cut in a barbed wire ring and slapped each other one at a time. The thing that disappointed me, no one went to the barbed wire. If you're going to have a barbed wire grudge mash, someone has to go into the barbed wire. I mean, it's like having a Philly street fight without a cheese grater involved. With all that being said, what the hell is this? Okay, so I need you versus, oh, that's right. Where's the, I'm taking on the Heart Foundation? That's weird. I hope I can win over versus Blue Demon Jr. Oh, yeah, whatever. Okay, so here, I have to go back. Back in time a little bit. Um, Impact. Dead Rebellion. Okay, that's the backlash. Okay. Now I know what I'm... I'll give some thank yous, and then I'll break this show up into a couple of smaller segments, I think. Because if not, I'll be rushing too, too much. So first of all, last week... Well, actually, the week before, there were two... Pa Ouch! I think when you hit that weird part of your finger, there are two pay-per-views or one premium event, which got blocked. I'm very disappointed in Impact Re Rebellion. But let's see here. Did I really do that bad? Yeah, they didn't show up. They got sent. Oh, wow. No, I had two. I took the field. Ace retained. Wow, I guess I really did do bad. Impact's kind of hard to predict. I'll tell you what, for Impact Rebellion, uh, I was just some uneducated mark. But for Backlash, I was much better. I got 3.5. Out of six, Mash is right. A lucky half percent because I got the Stone Cold Lockdown. They didn't even show that match. Seth versus Cody was amazing to start off. That was, that was kind of a mistake starting off because that was like the best match. So yeah, so I actually got four, three, and two half points out of six right. I'm in the head of one Stephanie McMahon. And let's see, so it's on this paper. That's what's on that paper. I have some thank yous to give out too for all this stuff. I'd say thank you to a bunch of people. Dave Tron. You, sir. 
You know what? You just told Nikki Cross to take it all off. You're as bored as with her super hero gimmick as I am. Regal machine. Thank you very much, sir. You know, you don't wait till that nine count. You get back in the ring after the six count. And then, Ronium Carbon. I think I spelled that right. You, sir, you know how to play that air guitar. And that's it. All the thank yous I have. That's rare. So you know what? Just to get the pacing of this video right, 
Let's go ahead, toss up the Yano. Wait a second, am I recording? Yeah, I guess so. Yep, 31, that's why. I forgot if I was recording or not. Let's go back. Back in time, dude. Get fancy way. Boom. Boom, 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 Baby. Oh, my sweet baby. Oh, you're the one. Back of my hand. Wherever I press it, that's where I land. Los Cinco Flores. Ha, ah, something in Spanish. I don't know. That's Pitbull. One of my favorite songs. One of the songs I do like to listen to. Especially for New Year's. So again, we're going back to Raw on 5-9. And cross that video off. Um, this was actually a pretty fun show. This was the Raw after Backlash of WrestleMania. I think the next pay-per-view is coming up. I forget if it's early June or mid-June. I don't know. I'll have to take a look at that. I'll figure out what I'm doing. That's going to be hell in a cell, I think. Either that or they're skipping June and going to July. I honestly forget. I think it's going to be Money in the Bank in June. I think. Who knows? I just had to refresh myself a little bit. We have RK Bro and the Street Profits. They yap at each other. This leads to a match. The RK Bro versus the Street Profits. Um, that was fun. Flying Jiji Katami. My Matt Riddle. So good. On um, Ford. He has. He can get up. He had to be a jumper or something in college. Because, man, he can not even activate his glutes. But he just jumps. And that's Orton versus Dawkins. Um, low punches to the corner. That's pretty good. Uh, eventually, our, um, Riddle got back in for the assisted floating bro. F floor, Ford. Ah, Ford flies. I mean, he does what he always do. Riddle. Uh, he gets just beat up again. That's kind of his thing, I think. And he's a smaller person, younger. The younger person, the one who's a able to take more bumps than Randy Orton is. Uh, Orton did eventually get the hot tag. Riddle. There was, uh, there was a little miscue there. We got a little tease. Bringing us to this tag team. Again, WWE, WWE loves to break up tag teams that they put together for absolutely no reason. Oh, wow. I got to delete space, too. Uh, Ford the Frog Splash. But Orton makes a save, then Riddle hits a catch. RKO. The RK Bro wins. Fun opening match. Solid cheeseburger match. We have Austin Theory, the AJ Salas recap. A little with the Edge promo. And then we have Liv Morgan. Live Life versus Rhea Ripley. It's just a fight. Until, of course, Rhea Ripley just throws in the old Aussie headbutt. Now Liv did the rope jump. That was impressive. I couldn't do that. I'd kill myself. I'd miss. I'd break something. Something would go in between where it shouldn't. I don't know. I'd tear my asshole. It sounds disgusting. But yeah, it's happened to pro wrestlers. That's a weird one to describe to a doctor. Well, what did you do, son? I tore my asshole. How did you do that? Uh, I was jumping on some ropes. Doc would probably look at me really funny. Uh, again, live with the kicks. Nice flow of her DT. However, we Ripley catches her in the standing grill lock. Poor Liv Morgan has to tap out. But then, you know what? That's not the end of the match. Liv gets beat up. And then Finn Balor shows up. And I think Liv, Finn Balor, her friend, 
for life. So we'll see what happens. This was actually another good match. Cheeseburger match. And of course, this leads into the next match, which is Finn Balor. Because Finn Balor is a real rock and roller. Because he's too sweet for life. Uh, takes on Damien Priest. Um, first thing that happens, Finn gets Damien Priest in the headlock. A little basement drop kick. Priest, the other side does the ear clap. <laughs> Huge toss. <laughs> a toss broken arrow. Finn either is really light. But Damien Priest is just huge. Um, Damien Priest and Finn Balor wind up on the outside. Rhea Ripley gets in the, gets in the way. Oh, yeah, that's right. Edge Spears. He interferes. Finn Balor. AJ Styles jumps in. AJ Styles shift k Rhea Ripley. Heels leave. Again. Then we saw... Wait, what's this? What's, what's this? What's this forming? Oh, it's a too sweet. Oh, it's Bullet Club's back, baby. Cause you know what? They're just too sweet for life. Again, once you're a Bullet Club, you're a Bullet Club for life. That was fun. That was, that was an okay match. Um, interference, I guess, was okay and warranted. Really quick. Um, ham sandwich match, though. Sorry, Finn. Oh. Man, that salad. It's huge. Um, then we had some KO and the Alpha Academy stuff talking back and forth. Uh, Almas and Lashley recap. Cedric comes in with Bobby Lashley. Then we have, of course, our Boo Sonny the Ville moment. However, Sonya got downgraded. She's no longer a WWE official. She's back in the rank and file. Boo Sonny the Ville! Boo! Boo Sonny the Ville! Boo! You know what? You had Princess Kimberly jobs to Sonya Deville. She left for a little bit. And I just have her doing this stuff again. Boo! And she took on Alexa Bliss. And this time she counts like her old music. Wow! Like dubstep music. That was pretty cool. Like she lost the um, Beetlejuice theme. Who knows? Um, Bliss... Yeah, uh, does lot does a few kicks at Sonya Deville. It's a DDT twisted bliss, and literally that was the match. Ham sandwich match. It was good to see Alexa Bliss back. We'll see what happens. Keep her there. And then we have Kevin Owens, and uh, with Ezekiel, or Ken Owens and Ezekiel. We all know it's Kevin Owens, that's so, so obvious. And then they just jump him. And again, Alpha Academy is there, or whatever. Asuka yells at Becky something in Japanese. I have no clue. Uh, it was Veer versus Frank Lomo. Yeah, I think I initially just put down Jobber. Was, yep, yeah, well, that's what his job was. And it was a tie up and then a body lock. Jo the jobber got a few elbows in. Yeah. Didn't really do much. Veer, the side lock slam, the cervical clutch. Whatever it is. It actually does look pretty cool. It looks kind of vicious, which is what I'd like to see a little bit. Veer one, squash mash, ham sandwich. So then next we have a Cody Rhodes interview. Cody Rhodes is still one of the most entertaining people out there. Uh, 
Again, this season's next match, Cody Rhodes vs. Austin Theory. Classic wrestling to begin with. And then <laughs> Theory says, does the Stardust gimmicky thing. And that, that either made Cody's laugh or just pissed him off a lot. You know, Theory was told to do that. Um, again, Theory, the big Irish heim hammer um, onto Cody into the corner of the ring. That was great. Again, this big suplex. The knees. Theory is so smooth. He's so good. I can see why. I can now see why they really brought him up. When I thought they brought him up a little too early, but with Gargano leaving, Theory is that good though. Cody, the like the big drop suplex. He does the, the step up, kicks. Um, eventually, Theory got a couple things in. They both did the, the double. Cross body to each other. Ropey, the, uh, Cody, the scoop slam and the moonsault. Theory. Ooh, that feels that ton of flesh. Uh, works over the legs. Chillers, and all of a sudden, you know what? Seth Rollins comes in. Cody did something. The, um, something kick, disruptor kick. Cody Cutter, then Seth comes in, beats up Cody Rhodes. The DQ finish! My boy, it's learning a little bit from me. You always want to have yourself at least the one throw a dust there, finish, baby. This was a Cody Rhodes 3 match. This was good. This is at least it's a dusty cheeseburger match. And now, take this. Ever way you want to, we had Sasha Banks and Naomi taking on Dewdrop and, and, and Nikki Glenn Cross. Stories, the rumors and innuendo. Banks on Naomi dropped off the women's tag belts on the boss's desk. Not something you want to do if you want to be featured on TV. I'll get into that more in the next segment for the next break in a little bit. Yeah. Um, so Sasha Banks and Naomi taking on Dewdrop. And Nikki going across, Naomi, the, uh, the drop kicks, and the mule kick, that's pretty good. Two drops, she just falls on Naomi, now chokes her with the rope. Um, then it gets to Sasha Banks, and Nikki going across. Um, Sasha got caught in the slam. Nikki, the seated senton, that was kind of cool. Then Naomi and Banks get in the, the boxing glow combo, whatever it's called, Dewdrop. drop. Um, on poor little Nikki Glenn Cross, Nikki eats the pin. Do drop. It's not a happy. Her and Nikki probably have many Scottish words, and probably do drop. Probably slaps Nikki in the face with a piece of haggis. Backstage, uh, Sasha Banks Naomi wins. It's okay. I'm just so sick of. The do drop isn't as bad as it was. I'll give her that much. Nikki Ash is just terrible. That has to go. Still overall ham sandwich match. Then we have the Miz showing up in a rough outfit. Oh, Miz might be retired. He's gone into rushing now. Who knows? That was for the Mustafa Ali versus Tommaso Ciampa match. Yeah, you know what the you know who who the Miz wants to win. Um, Champa works over Ali. Miz does the real slow count whenever Mustafa Ali spins Mustafa. Uh, uh, one, two, not even a two count. Nah, Champa. He got some bad pointers from Mandy Orton because he started to turn this into Chinlock Mania. That's not good. Uh, Ali does start his comeback. The flying running for him. He could not hit the uh, the 045. There was a spring springboard team with the ET. Again, another slow count. Ciampa hit a reverse ET, and then all of a sudden, that was it. Match over. Uh, Ciampa won. They could do a better showing. It still wasn't bad. Miz was being the healer like he should be. Cheeseburger match.
Then we had Lacey Evans. I don't even care at this point about Lacey Evans. I just want to see something flop out either at the top or bottom of Lacey Evans. Uh, it's whatever. Her story's kind of sappy. The fact that she's telling it in a sappy voice makes it even worse. I don't know. It makes me want to do this. Ah. During most of my wrestling shows. Um, then we had the, the first papers were first to, to Reggie. Uh, t uh, Tamina wants the same thing. Tazawa, Tazawa runs, though. He doesn't want to get served. Whatever. Our main event of the evening. Which, although, again, I will give WWE credit this. They featured the women a lot on the show. I mean, they're not getting two-minute matches. Banks, Naomi, Dewdrop, and Nikki was probably the seven to ten minute match. This was probably ten minutes. Um, again, you have the Lacey Evans thing. You have Rhea Ripley being featured. Actually, they did a lot of women's stuff. Liv Morgan, Rhea Ripley was probably fifteen minutes, maybe twenty with the entrances. They do stuff with them. Again. Impact in WWE Women's Division. So close. Uh, but this was Bianca Belair versus Asuka. Our returns. This was pretty good. Big tight. They're both fighting for position, trying to show each other strength. Bianca gets a takedown. Bianca slows down the pace. Um, she cannot hit the three amigos. Um, Asuka did the jump to the, to the top rope again. I can never do that. That was amazing. Um, Asuka is in her gear. She looks great, except for now. Becky beats, goes after Bianca. And then that's really about it. She, then, Bian then Becky goes after Asuka. You know what? Still, overall, it sets things up a little bit. Maybe a triple threat. We'll see what happens. It's not a bad match. Really shouldn't have been the main event. Ham Sam. And we're good. And. Oh. Whoa. And now we're going to today's show. So now this is going to be back in the present time. 516. Monday Night Raw. Ooh, I gotta watch this from my parents' house because I'm having my little spa trip there. Um, yeah, maybe tomorrow I'll show you guys pictures of the spa because Tuesday shows a lot faster. And it'll be some good filler. But yeah, I'm on my little spa break. Get to go into the hot tub, uh, the warm pool, the cold pool, the sauna. Get a lot of stress onto my body. How those jets hurt certain parts of my mind, my body. So it makes me go, mmm. Yeah, uh, so the show starts off. <laughs> First of all, they give Cody his own countdown to when he gets to talk. That's pretty cool. But then the next thing we have MVP and all monster in the ring. Because that's the prelude to the steel cage match. And it's Omos versus Bobby Lashley. In a steel cage. MVP is so... MVP is so smooth and good on the mic. Um, they're doing a little bit of wrestling. MVP eventually pokes Lashley with his cane. Remember, he has a cane. He can just, like, poke it through the um, chain link fence. Makes sense. They have to bring back the old the old style steel blue cage. The old big square steel cage. The blue one. That was just so, such a classic look. Uh, Lashley, he gets lawn. Lashley got lawn dart. Remember, Lashley's doing lawn dart. Now Lashley's eating said lawn dart. This is a turnbuckle MVP. Again, pokes him again. Um, Omas charges into the corner. He got suckered in there. Eats a spear. Cedric Alexander shows up. He gets tossed in. Just falls in. Um, lastly. 
tried to do a splash, he got caught. Again, MVP tried to poke him again. This time he pulled in MVP's arms through the cage. That was pretty cool. Uh, this enrages Omos. He throws him into the weak part of the cage. Cage collapses. Bobby Lashley just kind of like falls through the cage. He lands. He has his two feet on the floor. And wow, Bobby Lashley wins by like freak accident. Normally this happens the other way. Normally Bobby Lashley throws someone into the cage. Cage breaks and that person wins and Lashley loses. This time Lashley is on the winning side of this. Solid match. It wasn't bad. Uh, MVP doesn't make, make it better. Cheeseburger match. Now what I want to know, why are all these giants all of a sudden from Nigeria? Omas, the Nigerian giant. Com um, Sergeant Aziz of like the Nigerian army, of the uh, Nigerian personal guard of Prince Apollo Cruz. Or, I don't know, the, the, Uha, the Prince Uha the nation. Well, I don't even know what he calls himself anymore, actually. That's scary. Yeah, they're all Nigerians, though, with the exception of this one guy coming up. We've also seen Theory Moose's Mustafa Ali. Theory just, just gets on the mic. He starts talking. He's getting, he's good as a talker. The Miz shows up as a guest referee, and, and Theory's like, you know what? You have to earn, you have to earn this. Let me show you who your real opponent's going to be. So like Mustafa Ali versus Veer. Oh, this could go really good or really bad. I will give Miz some credit though. He did hold the ropes for for the the the, the very attractive, ebony skinned, bootylicious referee though. Miz, you are a true gentleman, I guess. Um, yeah, this match though, it was uh, Mustafa Ali versus Veer. Ali is on his feet. Great drop kicks, a couple times. Very fast ones. Veer. Um, he has the fun splash in. Then it's all of here for the most part. The flapjack. <laughs> now Miz, he, uh, Veer goes out of the ring. He gets in the way for, and finally starts a 10 count after like a good 30 seconds of it. Someone curses. Probably Ali curse at the Miz. That was funny. I love when it goes blank. Uh, Veer gets in, steps on the bank. Squash the bank, the cervical clutch. Veer wins. And all of a sudden, it is a selfie taking time with both Theory, Veer, and Ali. And then the Miz gets involved too. Uh, they want to beat Veer up a little bit more. Then Ray and Dominic Mysterio show up. They're back. Fun match for it was. Cheeseburger match. So Adam Pierce is in the back, and, and we have, <laughs> I refuse to call her big time backs. I call her big meth backs. So that's what she looks like. Um, a little bit of talking back and forth. Obviously, there's not going to be the supposed six-woman match because, well, Sasha Banks and Naomi never showed up. That's the kayfabe thing. Whether it's true or not, and I saw this on Facebook, Sasha Banks and Naomi dropped the belts off on the table and said, hey, thank you, we're done. <sighs> For Naomi, this is new. Sasha Banks, however, has done this a couple times where he, she was really pouty, and there were whole reports about her sitting, like, in a corner with Bailey crying when they were told they are going to lose the belts. Um, when they were tag women's tag team champions. Seeing her deal with the public, if you don't get her at, like, the ideal time... She does not seem friendly. When I saw her, and I didn't meet her or anything, 
I saw her when I was working the racetrack. I got a little video of her. She was generally just waving to the fans and like wiggling her butt for the fans. Um, there have been videos of her in public ignoring fans. And I understand if it's like a 5 a.m. flight and there's like some idiot rushing to get your autograph at the airport. Yeah, you can be kind of short with them. If they're like at your hotel room or if they're like lined up before the match, because there are lines where people wait to see the performers. I've never waited in them. That seems... I don't know, it's going to be a great. But she does not exude friendliness. I'll say that much. Naomi seems like she always seemed friendlier and happier, especially on Total Divas. But I wonder if this is something she picked up from Sasha. Again, when Sasha's lost the belt, there has been rumors and innuendos about her poutiness. I'll say that. So yeah, who knows what that's about? Who cares? The next match we had was Riddle... And Jimmy Uso, this was fun. I'm uh, Matt Riddle, the gut wrench suplex to start off. Um, they go to the outside. Jay took the Jay took the shot for his brother. I don't know if twin magic was going to happen. But Uso did the hip attack. He obviously learned that from Naomi. So Naomi, I just can't see Naomi just dropping off the belts after doing all that hard work for her and saying, "Yeah, whatever." Sasha, I can. Sasha's a, a little prima donna diva-ish, I think. Naomi, I don't think too much. Um, she got in kind of luckily with Cameron. Whatever she did just managed to work. Cameron, of course, didn't work. That's when they were the Funkadactyls with... Wow, that's going back a while. With, um... Not Tyler Breeze. Jeez, what's his face? I forget Tyler Breeze's partner now. Shoot. Wow, I really forget his name. Or was that the Bewitch theme? Or, or I Dream of Genie. I get them all confused. Getting old. Getting old sucks. Um, but yeah, whatever. Uh, Uso did hip attack. A little flurry of strikes and the half and half suplex. The swoon headbutt by Jamie Trenny. And then the pop-ups. <laughs> the only thing I can say about that pop-up Simone, Simone drop. Matt Riddle popped up a little too high. He almost went flying. And there was no splash. Because uh, Matt Riddle got the knees up. Jay gets tossed. After a little catch shot, uh, Matt hits the inside cradle. After, or Jay, uh, Jay used to get caught because he was interfering too much. The ref saw it the, the third time. You're out of here. As, as Jimmy is arguing for his brother on behalf of his brother, nice brotherly thing to do, uh, Riddle hit him with the inside cradle. Matt Riddle wins. This is actually a good match. Cheeseburger match. Then we have the Judgment Day promo. I, I, uh, Rhea's there. <laughs> I like the fact that when Rhea first started, she was the girl you'd bring home to your mother. Now, if you bring Rhea home to your mother, Rhea says, your son calls me mommy. Oh, vicious. Yeah, that's okay. Then we have Los Lotharios versus... Bullet Club. Oh. Oh, Lil Sothario is at the kiss can. That was funny. The one girl was like, oh my god, I'm getting kissed. And then she's like, they're kissing me. They're really kissing me. Oh, someone's tongue on my cheek. And then she's like, ah. That was pretty cool, though. She actually was kind of cute. I like their taste in women. 
Yeah, and then the Bullet Club came down. AJ Styles. Prince Devitt. Because they're too sweet for life. Bang, bang. Oh. So this is good. AJ hits some big chops. And the um, double dives of both AJ and Finn Balor. Uh, Los Latorios, they get some good double teamwork in. Uh, they got sent outside the hard way. That was also pretty cool. Uh, again, their double team is so good. And I'm like, wait, is Liv the new bullet, babe? We'll find out. Uh, Finn gets a hot tag. Uh, there was no wing clipper. Uh, um, um, I'll tell you what, Umberto had the sell of the night. It was... I even forget what it was. It was something relatively simple. But he went from one side of the ring to the other. I'm just like, Umberto, you still got it. <coughs> that was so good. But then what happened is that after the match, they won. AJ Styles, Finn Balor hit the two sweet. But he stared at little Liv Morgan. The new bullet babe. Because even Liv Morgan, she's too sweet for life. That's what I'm going to get. This is Liv Morgan for life. Again, this is AJ Styles. Life. Finn Balor, the real rock and Prince Devitt, the real rock and Roller. And this is a hobo Tom for life. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Is Liv the next bullet babe? Ooh, she should be. She was in like plaid outfit. She looked kind of plain. Actually, she looked a lot hotter. Now that she's out of like that like super tight booty short. She has a cute little bubble butt. However, I do want to know. I think some of those bubble butts are fake. They seem way too roundish. Especially when Liv has like no hips and is all bubbly down there and very thin in the front yeah again this was a good fun solid match cheeseburger match then we had KO in the off academy and they did DNA tests however the sample was compromised there was barbecue sauce on it whatever Kevin Owens is wearing a Sammy Sainz Forever t-shirt. He had to lose a bet or something. Oh, wait. All the Super Canadians teams play each other. He probably did lose a bet. What am I saying? Uh, and then there was the Sonya Deville versus Alexa Bliss match. Uh, so Alexa Bliss got new theme music. She has a little bit new outfit. And her husband, he gets to watch her put that outfit on. And take it off. And take it off with his teeth. And do other things. With tongues and... Ah! I don't want to think about that stuff. It's, it's dirty. I want to do things with Alexa Bliss. With her tongue, my tongue. Some fingers. Well, I shouldn't be saying that. I should be kicked off YouTube for saying that. Who knows? Actually, I'm surprised I haven't been kicked off YouTube. For a few pictures I showed. Very quickly. Yeah, Sonya Deville versus Alexa Bliss. Quick tie-up. Again, Alexa Bliss has a new theme music, new outfit. That's pretty good. She still carries on that goofy doll. That's okay. It's not as prominent anymore. It's kind of a little prop like um, Daryl the cat was. For one of the Takahashis. I forget his first name. Um, then Alexa just slapped Sonya Deville. That was great. Um... Again, Alexa's ass looks great. Uh, Sonya was saying some leg kicks. Getting classic hair drag. Um, Alexa. Yeah, the other thing. the only pro the, My only problem with Alexa Bliss, she's too light. Like, she hit the ropes. 
She did not have enough mass or inertia to bounce off the ropes. She like literally like, stopped against the ropes and then ran again. That was awkward then. Oh, Sonya Deville. Boo Sonya Deville. I can't boo Sonya Deville enough. It turned into chin lock, chin lock mania. Pulled the match down. Uh, she wants to expose. Not not the turnbuckle, but this time just the freaking bolt. I like to hit the DDT. And that was it. Um, good match. Ham sandwich match. Then Sonya slaps the referee. Sonya might be running off TV for a little bit for that. Or at least fine. Uh, Cody came out. Again, when it, his time went off. That was pretty good. Cody dresses so well. Cody dresses like it's still in the late 80s, early 90s pro wrestling. It's so good to see. Then we had Chad Gable versus Ezekiel. Um, good catch wrestling match by Chad to start off. KO is on the mic. Guest commentator ranting and raving as Kevin Owens should. Um, Otis is just in the background. Yeah, that's it. Chad, yeah. Oh, yeah. Tucky. Get him, Chad, yeah. Give him that ankle lock. Roll of the ankle lock, Chad, yeah. See, I can't do Otis. My Otis still sounds like the Macho Man. Um, Otis eventually clonked Ezekiel. Ezekiel is a pretty good spine buster, though. Um, Chad, did the, uh, he, he jumped right into the jumping knee. And Kevin's like, see, that's that's the Vagabond's move. Um, El Vagabundo. Um, crap. Elias. That's right. Can't. Oh, Fandango. I knew I would remember that eventually. Fandango. Yeah. Who knows? Um, again, Chad also missed the moonsault. Uh, Zeke, the mule kick. And then eventually, Otis gets involved as Otis does. Ezekiel wins by disqualification again. Ham sandwich match. Tamina and R-Truth. Um, they actually get to surf Tazawa's papers. Uh, Dana Brooke runs into Carmella. I don't know. That's just a meeting of the two blondes, I guess. Whatever. Whatever. I don't even care. Um, Lacey Evans. More, more yapping there. Riddle... And the Usos promo for the Tally Unification match. Then we're going to have, in the main event, we have Asuka versus Becky Lynch. This match started off hot. Started off with a code breaker. Um, Asuka then did the, um, went for the hip attack on Becky Lynch. Becky uh, had the exploder onto Asuka into the barricade. Good counter wrestling. These sorts of good and and even even though it's 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 big meth Becky it's big meth Bex and she gets a tear in her fishnet pantyhose oh no that's kind of sexy I think and again Becky's getting like flapjack mommy boobies too which is not necessarily a good look for her but she has to keep those under controls or something will pop out well mommy nipples are pretty cool but yeah flapjack mommy boobs are yeah. Especially when they're just kind of flopping around in there. And you don't see anything. But hell, it must be getting late. Yeah, I, I should be getting to bed soon. So this video will probably get edited tomorrow. Editing process takes forever anyway. I don't feel like starting it. And with this, I'll be out of drink. Oh, that stuff's so good. I have to wash my legs off a little bit. I got some beer gunk on them, I think, from cutting my aluminum. Yeah, it's Brother Nero. I knew you'd show up. But yeah. Wait, where was I? Yeah. Um, I was going to flying Gucci Gachami. That was great. Uh, Becky Lynch went for the Akata roll, got switched into the Oscar lock. Oscar then got sent into Bianca Belair. Um. 
And Becky... She, she got, like, rolled up or something. But, yeah. Oscar won! Oscar won. She's going to be facing Bianca Belair. This will probably lead to, like, a three-way or something. Um, solid match. Kind of ended. And that was it. Was no overrun. Solid ham sandwich match. And that was it for the double dose of Raws. Um, this video will probably be going up sometime. Probably tomorrow afternoon. Or tomorrow night. I don't know. I have to figure out that. Out. For the rest of the week, Tuesday. I want to say it's spa day. So I will just be doing a review of NXT. While I eat my turkey sandwiches. Which are going to taste so amazing. Because it's free. I just have to figure out if I want them on bread. Or I just might have bagel sandwiches. Either way, it's, it works for me. Wednesday will probably be AEW Raw. I'll do AEW Live. Live stream by me. It will also probably be the last show. Because then it's going to be Rockville. Right now, I'm planning to work four days. It all depends what they say they need you for. So it could be four days. It could be zero days. I have it blocked off in my schedule. Following week. It's kind of set. We'll get to that next week. I'd like to thank everyone for their patience. Again, check out...